What's up guys? So let's set up the TP-Link Archer C6 Wi-Fi router. Uh, first of all, of course, let's power up this baby. Plug in here, plug in here, and here you have the power button. So just press it. Now let's see what's going on. Uh, now you have the power LED indicator here, but you need to make sure that your Wi-Fi indicators are glowing solid green. And uh, of course, you want to wire up your router with your internet source, uh, whatever you use, uh, cable modem, ONT, DSL, uh, connect the cable from your internet source to the WAN port on your router. It's blue and it's it stains separate uh, from other ports. So now we are almost set. Now we need just to wait for Wi-Fi signals and the internet connection signals. And then I'm going to show you two ways how to set up the router via the TP-Link Tether application and via web browser a graphic user interface. So now the necessary indicators are green. And one more thing, uh, you need to write down uh, this password, wireless password, I, I mean. And let's set the router aside so far and continue on the smartphone. Uh, so you need the TP-Link Tether application to be installed. Uh, open the application. Let me skip the login and account creation process. It's super simple. Just create an account and login. Now, no device is found. This is because the smartphone is not connected to the TP-Link network. Uh, let's fix this. The quick way is to tap on this plus icon, tap on add a router, uh, double check LEDs are solid on. Yes, let's confirm this and enable camera and scan. So let's scan the QR code on the bottom. Tap on OK here. Now it's connecting to TP-Link. Archer C6 has been found. If in some reason you don't see this window or, or have any connection problems on this step, you can go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect the router to the smartphone manually. So let's go to Wi-Fi settings. Here you can find TP-Link networks. 2.4 G and I think somewhere we have 5 G. Here it is. Yes. And you can use the password from the bottom uh, label uh, of the router to connect manually. But we are all set for now. Let's uh, set up this device. Connect the router to your modem already done. Tap on this arrow. Then restart your modem. Let's do this. Uh, don't confuse the restart and factory reset. Sometimes it happens. You don't want to reset just uh, restart. Once restarted, tap on this button and set device password. This is not a Wi-Fi password so far. This is password to access the device setting. Let it be simple. So far, of course, you can create the stronger password. If you wish so, you can tap on this eye icon to see what you're, you're typing. Or you can use TP-Link ID password. Uh, so uh, you already have an account if you get here. So you can use account for, uh, password from your TP-Link ID account to log in to your uh, device. Then tap on next. Wait for a while. Detecting internet connection time. So dynamic IP, uh, you do not need to change here uh, anything if you do not, don't know exactly what you're doing. So uh, just tap on next. And now you need to create your network name and password. So let it be TP-Link Home, for example. At least eight char characters. At least eight characters we need to enter here as a password. Uh, that's OK for now. We can change the password later in the application settings. So uh, the summary screen, confirm and apply your settings, uh, write down your device password. It's very important because if you forget your device password, you have to reset uh, your order and set it up from scratch back again. 
Uh, so uh, network name T is TP-Link home, 2.4 G and 5 G are unified together. So this is dual band connection. Let's tap on apply. And now when you see this screen, you can go to uh, your settings, uh, to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to new Wi-Fi network. Let's copy password just in case. So here is, if you don't see your new network here, this is uh, not this network anymore, it, dis it disappeared. You need your new network, TP-Link Home. If you don't see uh, your new network, uh, try to refresh Wi-Fi or even restart Wi-Fi. So let's connect, let's paste, copy it, password. Okay, connecting. Successfully connected and let's go back to the application. It's logging in to Archer C6, testing network connection. And now you're all set. Let's tap on finish. Are you satisfied with the setup process? Yes, it's, it, it was perfect. Okay, submit. Let's go back to the application. Uh, let's step somewhere. I just want to show you a couple of basic features of these applications, not diving deep into uh, the functionality. So uh, on the home screen, you can tap on Wi-Fi settings and change your Wi-Fi network uh, name and password. Also, you can create a guest network to share the Wi-Fi with your visitors, not revealing your uh, personal Wi-Fi password. You can see who's connected to your uh, Wi-Fi router, block access and so on. And on the More tab, you have different settings and tweaks. Uh, I recommend you go to System and uh, check for firmware updates. I'm up to date, good for me. But now let's go ahead, I'm going to show you old school browser method so you can get even more control over your uh, Wi-Fi router. And quick heads up, uh, on PC you have to connect to the TP-Link network manually, so um, get ready to enter this password from the product label. Uh, now let's go. Let's connect to the TP-Link network, go to Wi-Fi settings, open Wi-Fi network list, select the TP-Link network, click on connect, enter your password from the product label, check if it's correct, click and hold on this eye icon, uh, if it's okay, click on next, Once connected, open any web browser and in the search bar type the following IP address 192.168.0.1 or you can simply type tp-link-wifi.net. It takes you to the welcome page. Here you have to create the admin password. Don't forget to write it down. Click on let's get started. I don't want to save for now. I don't want. Now you need to log in using your just created password. Log in. Not now. Select your time zone. My time zone is over here. Uh, click on next. Uh, your internet connection type is detected automatically. You can click on this button one more time to make sure everything is correct. This is dynamic AP, it matches this selection, automatically made here. Uh, so let's continue, click on next here. If your ISP only allows internet access from a specific MAC address, please select clone con uh, current computer MAC address. I don't need to clone, so I'm okay with this uh, selection. 
click on next. Smart Connect is enabled. Smart Connect means uh, you use dual band connection, so you can separate 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands or uh, keep them unified and your devices will uh, connect to the corresponding network at the fastest uh, possible speed. I prefer uh, to leave Smart Connect enabled. So uh, now create the network name and password. You don't need to hide SSID unless you don't want uh, somebody who doesn't know the network's name to connect to this network. Now this is the summary screen. Your network name and password, connection type, smart connect is enabled, and that's it. Uh, click on save and just wait for a while. You need to reconnect your wireless devices to the new wireless network before clicking next. Okay, let's start with connecting this very computer. My home network. It's connected even without password, but for other gadgets, I think you will need to enter this password. So let's click on next. Network set up successfully. Enjoy the internet. So uh, here you can uh, log in to your TP-Link ID. Um, but for now, let me show you just how to access the settings in web browser graphic user interface. So uh, let's close this tab, open new one, and type the same IP address as you type for setting up. And it instantly takes you to the login page. Now you can manage basic settings, advanced settings, uh, go back to quick setup and reset up your router. Uh, of course, you can later you can add this router to your TP-Link Tether application on your smartphone and manage your settings from there. Uh, for now, I think you're all set. Thanks for watching, guys. If this video was helpful, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and be awesome. Bye.